Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. I want to show you how to cook string beans, haricot vert in France. We refer usually to the haricot vert to the very tiny one. Those are okay. They could be finer than that for the haricot vert. When I was a kid, you know, you had to take the haricot vert here, and this is the end which is hanging to the plant. We would cut this one and that one, like the end, the long one here, you would cut it this way, and run it, and you would have a string right up. We get to the end, we break it on the other side, and you'll have another string on the other side. String means don't have any string anymore. You still have to remove at least that piece. By habit, I still remove the other piece as well. But in any case, I remember years ago, we cooked that a long time. Then we cook it less and less and less to the point that now people call blanched it, that is put it in boiling water for a few seconds, remove it, that's not enough for me. So water, a good amount of salt in the water. Put your string beans. We used to do that in large baths in professional kitchens which were in copper. And the copper itself tend to keep them green. But of course it's not done anymore. I have enough water here. Theoretically also you're told not to cover it. But I cover it and the only reason is that it comes back faster to a boil. Otherwise it takes too long. Coming back to a boil, and we will boil it for a few minutes and test it. For the time being, that string means is raw, as you can see. And if I go like this, it breaks. Textures change as it goes along. We're going to saute that with some shallots. I have the shallots here. The shallot, of course, is a, is a type of onion. Yeah. And uh, you peel it on each side. It's classic to have the string being sauté with, uh, with shallot, of course. But first, you cook your string beans. You cool your string beans. You cool your string beans. And when you're ready, up, you start uh, sautéing it. So here, I have a shallot which is cut in half. To cut that shallot, again, I will use my finger. Notice that I put them flat, so it's easier when it's round. And here, I would go this way. Go so, so this is... The, uh, it's all cut here, as you can see, but still attached to the end. So I go on the side here, cut a little bit this way, again this way, maybe twice, and again, the same idea here. This is finely chopped shallot, which are you? Finely chopped shallot, finely sliced uh, shallot. So here, is, this is usually the two ways those shallots are used, sometimes whole also. You have the chopped shallot, sliced shallot. And for the string meat, you can use one or the other. Now, as you can see, it's boiling, so you can uncover it if you want. It's about two minutes now, and a lot of people would remove it at that point. And at that point, yeah, it burned and all that. But for me, mm. No. It depends also, of course, on the side of your haricot vert. Your string beans sometimes are very, very thin, very fresh out of the garden. All of that change. But we're at three minutes now, and for me, I will need, with that size string beans, at least another couple of minutes. I don't like them mushy, like them slightly firm, crunchy under my teeth, but with the taste of string beans. When they are undercooked like that, for me, they don't really have the taste of string beans. Another thing too, as we used to do very large quantity of it, as soon as they are cooked, we would transfer them to ice water. That stopped the cooking, and it's fine. Especially in a professional kitchen, when you do three, four, five pounds at the time, I have half a pound of string beans here. And at home, what I would do, I would drain the water out and keep them here so that they dry out because of the hot Next, they dry out very easily, and then right away I take a skillet, a little bit of butter, and I saute them in there. So, I think my string meats now are about six minutes. If I see the small one here, hmm, the small one is perfect now. Just slightly crunchy. Uh -huh. So at that point here, I would put them under cold water. Of course, I'll cool them up, but just to show it to you. I 
I could actually continue cooking in there, in there if I need it right away, it would be fine. But if I don't need it right away, I may refresh them a little bit so that, and then leave them here ready to be sauté. And as you can see, they are beautifully green. To sauté the string beans, I will use a skillet, like a tablespoon of butter. And always, I put a little dash of oil. That prevents the butter from burning also. You want to sauté that? For different tastes in your string beans, you could let the butter cook enough so it becomes slightly hazelnut in color, slightly brown, and it will have a different taste. I have the chopped shallots here, and actually I'm going to put a bit of the slice shallot too. So this, remember the shallots are raw, this is cooked, so let that cook for uh, 30, 40 seconds on high heat. So even though I add salt in the water, we still need a little bit of salt here. So here it goes. This is cooked enough now. And put that in there. And of course mine are still hot, but otherwise I would let them dash of salt for the pepper. All right. This is a classic garnish for a rack of lamb or a steak. And here we are, string bit with shallots. Haricot vert aux échalotes. Mmm, perfectly cooked.